In other health news, coping with multiple sclerosis for decades, a local woman says she's finding hope again. Our Tanisha Cordell shows us this new robotic device and how it's helping her take steps towards recovery. For the past 10 years, I was diagnosed 23 years ago um, with relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis. Kathy Miska has faced one of her biggest challenges. It's become progressive. So my mobility has been challenged much more. Kathy, a former teacher, went from relying on a cane to being completely dependent on a walker. I've always tried to just kind of stay on top of it as much as I could and modify things as much as I could. Her diagnosis came after a variety of symptoms worsening over time. Doctors discovered a lesion on her brain and later Kathy started losing her vision. It just keeps attacking and there's no exact cause. Researchers believe that there's like this interplay of genetics and environmental factors that do cause it. While MS is typically diagnosed between ages 20 and 40, it affects more women than men and it makes basic functions like walking difficult like it did with Kathy. But in 2019, Kathy went to the Cleveland Clinic for physical therapy. And they had just gotten this exoskeleton suit. They asked me if I would like to try it on and, and um, walk around in it. Kathy would become one of 21 women to participate in the hospital study, assessing this new device and its effectiveness on MS patients. Once they're in the suit, it actually has sensors and software that is designed to provide them the appropriate amount of assistance while walking. So if somebody has no, no voluntary control over their legs, then the device is able to provide all the support for standing walking function. The device, now FDA approved, worked. It helps working on step length, timing of walking, all these things that are really needed to continue walking over ground. And after about 24 hour long sessions. With me, I'm always swinging my right leg out. Th that whole experience truly helped me. Kathy is taking healthy steps forward. Tanisha Cordell, News 5.